So welcome everyone, uh, this is going to be the second video about this game and uh, today I will show you the auction system that is in the game. So the auction system works as follows, we are going to the auction hall, there we will see a couple of cars um, being auctioned and uh, we can bid on them uh, in the condition as it is at that point. Uh, we don't know of course the exact condition so we might be able to pull off a great steal or we will have to invest a lot of money to get it rolling again but uh, i have like fifty thousand uh, dollars currently available so i'm quite confident that we can get a uh, a nice car uh, from the auction for a decent price So over here we will actually be able, and most of these cars are in extremely poor condition. So we will have to fix a lot, a lot of the car. But let's first get a car. So the Delray Imperator is the first that is being, that we can bid on. Might be a nice car, but let's just wait. What the price will do. 13,000, 15, 16, 17. Oh, this is. I will bid once. 20 already. Ah, this is getting too, too expensive. No, this is too expensive. I will let this one pass. It's in a decent shape, of course, I must admit, but I do not see much room for profit here anymore now, especially now it's getting to 30. No, let's just, let's just have the person uh, that actually bought it, uh, let's have it, let's have him uh, have the car. There was too few room for uh, improvement. Um, This is a car in extremely poor shape, but it might actually be interesting for us. Let's spit on it. Let's have a look what the price will do. So we have one person that's bidding against us. But we have it for 7000. Of course it is in an extremely poor condition, so we will have to spend a lot of money in um, improving the car back to perfect condition but that is of course part of the challenge now this is um, also a car in well the body parts seem to be in bad shape but that doesn't say a lot if it's really getting for a steal I might buy it doesn't seem that a lot of people are super interested though the price is now going up 21,000 Getting to 22, yeah, 23, yeah, 24, no, it's too expensive now, I will not bid anymore in this car. 26 already, getting to 28, 28,000, 29, no, that's it, ah, it's too expensive. I mean, it could be, of course, that the internal components are in good shape, still of decent shape. So just mending some body parts could have netted a decent profit, but I'm not sure. I don't want to risk it. So again, a similar car, similar condition. Starting at 15,000, 16,000, increasing to 17,000, going up to 18,000. Going to 19,000, 20,000, will it reach that? Yeah, 21,000, going to 22, 22, yeah, 23,000, yes, gets there, 24,000. Now, going for 25, 26, no. Could have bit on this car, could have done it, but we have already bought one. So let's just look what all the others have to offer. If it is really one more steal, then I will just, it's cheap, I will just bid along. But this car seems to be in very poor condition, but that might actually be very interesting for us. If we can get this for, let's say, below 15. 
I will just bid on this. 10. I will just bid 11 now. 12. 13. 14. Let's go for 15. 16 then. 17. Yeah! We bought it. I'm pretty happy about this one. I think we actually bought... Uh, I mean, the state is of course terrible. But with our good repair skills, we can actually turn it around, I think. Now, the other cars are now unreachable for us. We already spent a lot of money. Uh, we should try to fix one car first and then proceed. This could have been a good one also. But the price is already increasing a lot. There are a lot of people interested in the car. Don't forget that previous car that we bought, um, it has a V8 in it. So that usually means that there are more components to be replaced, especially pistons and stuff like that. So I think I will first try the Japanese car and try to, um, the, the first one that we bought, try to fix that one. Once it's fixed, just sell it off and then proceed to the other car. Though that might be a different video again. Um, because it will take quite some time before we... Uh, this one was also not that bad, to be honest, in terms of pricing. So that those were the cars that were being auctioned now. But um, So we bought two cars. Um, one in... Uh, well, both in poor condition. But one that should be cheap to mend. And uh, should be um, uh, quickly... Uh, quickly fixable. And also not... Too expensive to actually fix, I hope. <laughs> but the other one, the, the um, cabriolet uh, version, the coupe, that one um, will require a lot of money. But of course it will also, I think, net a lot of money the moment we we'll actually do sell it. You can keep the cars, of course. It's also a viable option. You'll keep them in your garage here, like... I have now, I have now two cars, which is this one, extremely poor condition, and this one. So let's first move this to the garage and try to um, to fix it. So we will have to spend a decent sum of money in order to fix this car, but I think it will net us a uh, decent profit. Um, like I said, a good, a good thing is that I have a extremely high level in repair skill. So that will help me a lot of fixing parts that are actually uh, in bad shape, but that um, will help us uh, retain some money. As you can see there's one door missing on the other side, which I didn't even see before, but that's of course yeah, to be expected. Tail light is missing, uh, all the body parts are in bad shape, there's rust also on the, on the wheels. And under the bonnet, the engine looks, to be honest, in a pretty rough condition. Let's first try if we can even make a uh, test. No, we cannot. No, it's in too bad. It's in very bad shape. So let's get it on the bridge or on the lifter. And um, maybe we should try and test with the uh, electronics. Uh, the OBD scanner, some stuff already. So that might indicate us some broken parts. Oh well, this actually... I think that we might have bought a still decent car. Because if these parts are quite in a decent shape, it might be that the rest of the car is, is still okay-ish. But uh, let's, let's look. The compression tester will test the internal parts of the engine, like the uh, pistons. Oh, those are in bad shape. So the engine will need a total revision, um, which will usually, if you want to uh, restore these cars into perfect condition, which I normally do with them. You actually need to uh, spend a lot of money and uh, remove all the parts of the car. But let's just let's just start doing that. Well, I must say that I mean this already looks decent. The uh, suspension system 
I mean, there are some rotten parts there here and there, but it's not too terrible. I mean, this part is actually in pretty decent shape, so we could um, let it sit. That's also something to, of course, I mean, in the, yeah, in the better the condition you actually get the car in, the more money it will yield. But some things are risky to fix or expensive to fix, so you might decide to actually keep keep it partially broken or in not so great shape. So first we will drain the oil. So let's get underneath it like like this. Should be fine, I think. And let's just drain the oil. Otherwise, if we don't do that, we will get a fine again for cleaning up the oil uh, spill. And uh, that I don't want. It's another hundred bucks wasted. So now the oil has been drained and we can now start unscrewing the uh, oil pan. Like I said, so initially it will be a matter of um, unscrewing a lot of parts, removing a lot of parts and then um, making uh, a decision which to fix, which not. Oil filter is gone. But you see here. Okay, let's get these out. You have to revise the engine anyway. We cannot have a good uh, have a car delivered with uh, broken uh, con rods and the pistons. So let's get that out. So what we will now do is remove the wheels, which are also in a extremely poor shape. Okay. Brakes. And this we will do for all the, the wheels. We can remove the axles. The hub bearing. And counter tie rods. Those I always replace. They, those are the parts that actually wear easiest. So, and they are cheap in comparison. Shock absorbers. As well. So what I can do now first maybe, that's a good idea, just fixing only the suspension parts and then uh, working from there. I think that actually this, the cross member, is still 66%. Uh, maybe I can try to fix it, but I think it's risky, uh, even though I have a 90% success rate. So maybe we should just leave it there will be one of the only parts that actually will not be replaced. Of course, first let's get the, uh, the wheel out. So here, remove the brakes. Disc, always replace those. No point in uh, keeping all rotten uh, brake systems in the car. And again, move this part first, the link between the steering axle and the, uh, the absorbers. Shock absorber, get that one out. Spring seems to be in okayish condition. Um, out the tie rods, move that. Move the steering knuckle, move the front sway bar, remove the steering rack. Drive shaft seems also to be fine. So all in all, I'm not too dissatisfied with this purchase. So let's get to the back of the car. Try to fix that. Wheels. Get the brakes. Wheel up. Shoulder cap. Spring. 
And these you will likely all need to be buy new or for a major amount of them. The bushings I always replace as well, there's some cheap parts to just replace. I don't want the next owner. I mean even though you don't know who it's going to be and it's just you sell the car and that's it, but just for role perp uh, playing purposes I don't want the next owner of this car to have quick problems again. With the car itself. And these are super cheap parts. They're like $15 for each bushing. So it's kind of silly to actually save money on those. And uh, cause uh, early uh, problems again for the next owner of the car. I do think that we, the cross member that is here, we do need to try and fix. It seems to be in much worse shape than the, uh, the other one in the front. Of course, remove the wheels first. The exhaust we also need to remove out of the car. And uh, that we cannot fix, so that we will have to uh, sadly buy a new. This we can remove. Now we move the absorber. As you see, the, the yeah most parts are in extremely poor condition. Now we can remove this. We can just remove some of these parts as well. Fuel tank, let's first remove the fuel pump, that's still in okay-ish condition. Now we remove the cat. Oh, the gearbox seems also in terrible condition by the way. And I think that we should at some point just remove the entire exhaust system. Okay, so... What kind of condition is that one actually? Well, I'll just rip it out. So we have now almost completely removed the entire suspension. Only this part of the suspension is still there. Just because it's in a decent shape. Let's have a look how this goes. So I will try to fix all the parts. If some break then, well, okay, that can happen. But fix as many as we can, because that will save us a huge amount of money on replacement parts. Some parts we cannot replace, but luckily um, some will break, like I said, so we will have to replace them anyway. But I, I like to try and fix these above 80% or so. Once you're there. They should not look that rusty anymore and they should be in a decent shape. Oh, it can happen. Sometimes you fail. But anyway, this saves us a lot of money because uh, alone a steering rack, for example, is just fixed to 100%. That costs us like normally $800 to uh, mend, of our to replace, sorry. And now it doesn't cost us anything at all. So let's just try to fix these small parts that are cheapish up to a good condition. Crossmember I will not touch anymore because I'm too much afraid that it will be broken. I think these parts are okay now. So what we will now do is I will go to the computer and uh, let's have a look. So let's look at running gear. 
And now we have to buy all the parts that we could not fix or that we broke. Um, okay, so this might take a while. Let's see. Two, two outer rods, outer tie rods. Let's see, inner tie rods. One is broken completely. Okay, so also two inner tie rods we need. How are the uh, shock absorbers? We also need to replace those. Two lower suspension arms. Okay, let's first have a look at this. Inner tie rods, we need two. Um, front shock absorbers, we need two. I think we also need springs, but I will check a bit later. Um, and then of course some outer tie rods. There are those. Should be here somewhere. Ah, here. And I think we also need the two lower suspension arms, right? Yeah. And some links, possibly. Let's have a look. One, yeah, this is not good. Okay, so two links. But let's just sell off all this stuff that is not going to be used at all. Pushings we also need to buy. Shock absorbers we can just sell off. Front sway bar we also need to replace. And we need some rear springs and some front springs. Let's just get rid of these. And the rear springs. Okay, and then some sh rear shock absorbers, two of them. They're of type A. Rear axle steering knuckle housing. We also need that one. Where is that? This one. A rear suspension arm. Only need one or two. I think we need one. Just this one. Oh. Oh. Type B. And this one. We don't need type A, I believe. Or do we? I just let's let's just keep it, but This we can sell. Oh, we do. Oh, okay. And then some sway bars. Two of these. And a rear sway bar A. Suspension arm. Okay. Then we need a rear wheel hub. Front sway bar. Like this. 
lower suspension arm. We already had two of these, huh, I believe. One, two, yeah. Some uh, shock absorber caps. Then we need some wheel cup haps, um, caps and some two of these and two of these. Both types. Rear and the front. And then we need some rubber bushings. I think we need 10 in total. 4, um, 8. I think we need 10 for the entire car. I might have kept some in the front uh, sitting still. Uh, but, um, yeah. 1, 2, 3, 4. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Then two of these should be fine. For the purchasing of stuff, um, they might also improve. Uh, people are also, which is in a way um, very logical. Some people are complaining about the fact that uh, you have to rebuy uh, constantly single parts. So I think we actually have the majority of the parts that we need. Now we have to buy some brake parts. We have all the calipers we have restored to 100%. So the only thing we cannot fix is like the brake discs and the brake pads. Now the pads are one, two, three. Four, four of those. We need two vent, two ventilated brake discs, and two regular ones. And that should be everything we need, because we already have the calipers in uh, decent shape. Oh, those should be all the brake parts. Then we have some exhaust parts. Um. Rear muffler, middle muffler, cat catalytic converter, and exhaust pipe. So, rear muffler, middle muffler, exhaust pipe, and a cat. And that's also by the front section already. Because it's likely that we were replaced at the moment to actually start working on the engine. So then we already have that one. Uh, gearbox we don't have any and uh, body parts is for later. I can just buy an oil filter already to put underneath. So not super important at this point. And the fuel tank, that is something we also need to replace. It's also a bit more expensive, $300. get nine back okay so those should be all the parts that we actually need to recreate our entire suspension system for the car let's start by putting in the cross member first so you see it's nice and fresh again instead of rusty all over let's just the sway bar and let's go for the housing the hubs I really like this view, Warren. It's so nice and clean, all these new parts compared to all the rusty old parts. I really like that. Fresh 
proper pushings in there. I'm really doubtful whether we should actually try and also mend the, uh, the front cross member. At this point we can do that because we can just easily remove it. Maybe we should try that once we are working on that part. So, the wheel hubs, the brakes, etc. I will do a bit later. I cannot see this bolt correctly. Put in a proper pushing here. Good. And this. Might have bought one too many or so now. Well, yeah, at some point it will be. Oh, and I still need one of that. Hmm. Those I can do later. And then install the small bushings. Here as well. Oh yeah, what we can now do is install the uh, springs. So the only part we actually need is the uh, rear suspension arm B. That I forgot apparently. Now we can install the new fresh fuel tank and the uh, restored fuel pump. Then we can start putting in some of the uh, exhaust. And work our way to the front. Now this front section I still need to remove. And maybe this cross member. Shall we try it? For sure, I need to remove these old bushings. Those are rotten. Let's just try it. I will just try to mend this. Okay. Let's hope. Yeah! 100%. Good. Oh, that looks fresh and new now. Great. Now we can just. Oh no, this we don't do, because we still need to remove the, um, the gearbox, that's our next assignment, along with the engine, and other engine related parts, but we can already put in most of the suspension, I think we also have one of too many of these, yeah. Next car that we fix, it will likely require us to have them anyway. Fresh. Right, let's put in some fresh new bushings. So I think that is all that we can do at this point besides installing the brakes and stuff. Let's just put that on. Let's get that done. It needs to be done anyway. The wheels I will not put on yet. There's no point. It will do last. Also we need new wheel uh, wheels anyway. Oh yeah, we also need to add the uh, suspension on the uh, 
strings and the absorbers to the front. Great. Brake pads, brake calipers. Good. But that seems to be done now. now this looks nice, eh? so now we have a total fresh suspension. This really looks nice. Now we can, oh yeah, we can add the, uh, try to, well maybe we need the axles for that. I think we need the axles for that, or not. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, okay. So that we will do a bit later then. Let's now get into the gearbox stuff. Uh, let's first get the car down, because we need to remove the starter engine, in order to be able to remove the uh, gearbox. Uh, disassemble, yeah. Starter. Also totally rot. It's terrible. Now we will work start working on the gearbox and the engine. We have already opened the engine from the bottom end. Wheel needs to come off. Good. Can we fix some of these? We can try and fix the starter. And the gearbox. Oh, we lost that one. That's expensive to replace. But um, you can expect that. You cannot expect all these parts to uh, to work out. Let's just already buy a crankshaft bearing cap. Cap. So this one. And then for gearbox parts, we need a flywheel, clutch pressure plate, clutch bearing of a release bearing, and the gearbox itself. So flywheel. Clutch pressure plates. Clutch release bearing. And the gearbox itself. R4, this one. $650. Too bad, but uh, these things happen. Now, now we have all the new fresh gearbox parts already in our inventory. But, um... We will not put them on yet, because we have an entire engine to uh, fix. So, let's first start with the radiator. Let's remove that. Now, let's uncover the exhaust manifold. So, that we need to fix, and we need to also remove a part of the exhaust itself. But that we can only do from the bottom. Um, remove the battery. Let's just remove the air filters. Stupid clips. Why? Wow, the air filter is also totally gone. The base. Great. Uh, what you can also do is the brake servo. Uh, the ABS pump still seems to be in okay-ish condition, so that might be, because these are also very difficult, or um, sorry, very expensive to replace, so I might decide to install that one, but maybe also not. Depends a bit on the mood and the feeling whether we will succeed in repairing them for some of them. On the other hand, it can also uh, fetch still a decent price. Uh, if they are in decent condition. I think in general the car that we now bought is not uh, it's not in a uh, perfect shape but um, it's still decent. Okay. 
to remove all these. Do that. Do a filter. Uh, next. Oh yeah, let's remove this entire tiny cover. Camshafts. Now the spark plugs. I always replace these anyway. They're also in all terrible condition. This entire engine block is in pretty much terrible condition. But at least the suspension is now decent. Um, what do we need to do now? I think it's. Oh yeah, we can maybe remove the pistons. Yeah. Then we need to go under the car again to remove the crankshaft and the uh, and the uh, exhaust. So we can now try and move this. There we go back up again to remove the engine block. Oh, okay, let's try. These are very expensive parts, so I hope they don't break, but they are also not worth any, not much anymore, considering the uh, status. We have the ABS pumps actually, parts actually broke. It's expensive to replace. Let's go decent. Clips are not super important. They can be cheaply uh, improved again. Oh, the ABS module at least is fixed. Well, I'm not too uh, dissatisfied with our chances. I think this we should try and this should suffice. The engine block is still a bit lowish, but on the other hand, it's also uh, pretty damn expensive to replace if anything would go wrong. So, oh no, this is terrible. Um, oh, this is also terrible. Oh, the power steering pump, that was the part that actually failed us with the uh, repair. But at least the ABS stuff is um, is in good shape now again, and we had we did not need to buy a battery. We also need to. This is also something that we need to do. Yeah, I think that this is it for now, and that we need to buy new parts from for uh, replacing the rest engine. So, like I said, I'm not too dissatisfied with the outcome of our repair process. Some parts failed, but the most expensive ones actually um, were all repaired to good conditions again. So the battery, that's something... No. Engine. Uh, we need a new battery, that's for sure. So let's get rid of them. Um, we need a air filter base and air filter air filter base and air filter and we need two clips clip A I think it is to replace those that broke down this is broken oh you might have one too many now yeah ah well it's, so it's not so expensive and the air filter yeah, and the base. We can also sell that one. Good. Serpentine belt and the belt tensioner we need. What kind of serpentine belt again? An A. And the belt tensioner. All the way up. 
one. Belt tensioner. Shepard and belt A. Shepard and belt B. Crankshaft pulley. He also needs. Um, R4, I think, huh? Yeah. Um, and a super time build B it was, I believe. Super time build B. So now we need a power steering pump. This one. So that is the one that we broke during the repair, so... Oh, 110. But at fifteen dollars, it's still fine. An idle roller A and four new ignition coils. Idle roller A and four new ignition coils. One, two, three, four. Good. Let's also buy some spark plugs already. Here. One, two, three, four. So we can just read. Get rid of these. This is also go. And the spark plugs. So remove. And we need some pistons. We need a fuel filter. Two new cam gears and a timing belt. Timing belt should be here. already have an oil filter. We do need a fuel filter, I believe. Oh, yeah, we need four new con rods. A fuel filter. A fuel pump we still have. Oh, yeah, new cam gears, I believe. Yeah, cam gears, two. Two cam shafts. Just going to go sell these old rod and con rods. Two cam shafts. An intake manifold. A tiny belt we had, right? Yeah. Tiny belt we have. Intake manifolds. That is still something we need. Direct injection one. This one. I think I think we have everything now. This we can also sell. That is some stuff we still have. Gearbox we have. Body that is for later. Yeah, should be fine. So we can now just put in the... Oh, first the crankshaft, of course. And then the uh, bearings. section let's replace the oil filter already and now we can also put in the flywheel and the entire gearbox components these bearing and the gearbox look at that doesn't it look great now we can also put in the Axles, I believe. Oh no, first the top bearings, then we can put in the axles. Good. 
I think we have everything covered here. That'd be good. The oil pan will be f for later. I don't think we can... No, we still need the uh, pistons first. Here we go. Into the fix. Engine block. Let's put in the spark plugs. Great. Camshafts. The fuel rail. need to move that from brake surf something we still need to fresh new filter and a um, fixed cover which is good enough it's not so important game makes it look all so easy if it were only the case in real life <laughs> I'm not a mechanic but I'm pretty certain that it is not as easy in real life as it now looks time that this would cost normally I very much doubt whether it would be worth spending the money on such a car <laughs> so our brake servo is something we need still that's some of the final parts brake this one two hundred and seventy dollars well, I think we will still make a decent profit on this entire car and now we can just go and up the car again. Oh yeah, we also still need to add the timing. And then we can just add the oil pan back where it should belong. And we can start installing the, uh, the springs and the absorbers. So the last of the suspension settings. And the link. This Great. And now you see we can start fitting up the wheels, but that we will do only when the entire car is done. Okay, so that looks like we have covered everything of the suspension. This also looks great again. Now we can fit in the remainder of the parts. The uh, power steering pump. Cam gears. Timing belts. Cover. Either roller. Belt tensioner and the last serpentine belt. Good. Oh, we forgot the link. But we can do that from here, I think. Or do we need to lift the entire car up now? Eh? No. We can do it like this. Great. So it seems that we have everything now fitted in the car that we needed to fit in so we can now start mounting the wheels but um oh, do I, don't i have these no i did not install them 
put in here. So what else do we still have? Yeah, these we have bolts. These we replace, this we can just throw out. So two classic rims we need, two new wheels. Wheel shop. Was, which one was it? Cla Rim classic two. This, this one. Two of those. First fit in the paired ones. And then of course we need to do the bodywork final spray and it's done <sighs> still a lot of work well not really we did by far most work now these we can just throw out we don't need those anymore so now let's look now the car would be valued at uh, nineteen thousand two hundred and sixty two dollars we don't get a restoration bonus because we still need to remove all these parts and fix them or add them back to the car again. And of course the, the lights. I think I, yeah, I have everything that we can remove. So let's try to mend these. If some break, well, can happen. Anything we can save by fixing like this is just gain, is profit. And I do want 100% condition on the body. So some parts are now, so we, we miss the front right door, let's buy that, body parts, and it was a, what was it again, Katagiri, Katagiri, front right door, $400. The hood is done. Front right door he bought. Front left door he bought. We, can we don't have a headlight anymore. Oh, the bump bumper is has to come off. We have to buy a new one for those. Also for that one. Trunk is now fixed. Rear is fixed. Okay, we also need that. And then. So we need a rear taillight and a right uh, headlight and right fender and left fender. So we need a left fender, right fender, right taillight and right headlights. This one. That should be everything I believe. Oh and maybe a uh, yeah, bummer. Great. One part remaining. This one. Great. Now it's it's finished. I have, uh, too bad. It's finished. At least now we will just spray it. Paint shop. And 
just yeah, I can choose factory color, which is cheaper. Let's do that because we're going to sell it anyway. Good. So the car is totally finished now. Look at this. All components. Oh, the only thing we need to do is add oil. Let's do that. Otherwise, the car will not run. I believe we now have everything needed to be able to drive the car again. Everything is fixed. Oh, the internal parts were never damaged. Something they also might add later, by the way, in the game. The uh, interior to fix that, but for now, it looks like a nice car again. Also, if you look at the suspension, totally in working order. Wheels are fine. So we will now get the restoration bonus. So now the car will yield us a total of $25,515. And we bought it for, what was it, around, I think, 8000 8, You had to buy some parts, of course. Uh, actually, quite a lot of them. But we also fixed many parts. Worst condition now is the engine block. But that is extremely expensive, so if that would have, let's say, didn't work out, we had to buy a new engine block for, I think, 1500 or so. It looks great. Let's have it for a test drive. It will not matter. Um, So, of course, I don't know how it how it was before because it was undrivable. But now it seems to, yeah, it seems to respond well. Though I'm not so sure yet whether they actually uh, whether the condition of the car affects the handling of the car currently in the game. I'm not so sure about that. But for sure, this car handles nicely in corners. It's also, of course, not the fastest car that we have. Therefore, not the most difficult one. But it seems to handle pretty well. So yeah, that's it, kind of. We totally fixed a car that was on almost on the scrap heap. Well, that was as much as on the scrap heap as it should should be. It's now in almost perfect condition, besides some minor things here and there. But that all the parts that actually wear down fastest have been replaced. Spray it, it's fresh, it's new, and I'm happy with it. So, big question should I keep it or sell it? What do you think? I think we should sell it and then try and work on the older, more exclusive car next time with the uh, gains profit. But that's for another time. So, see you guys soon. Don't forget to like and uh, place comments or subscribe. And um, I will do the other car again next time. And then see you back then. Bye bye.